good morning. So glad you're here this morning. I want you to stand up and join us. If you're joining online, welcome to Tree of Life in Pflugerville, Texas. deeper with you this morning.
Show the passion in my heart Can I use them? 
praise you, God. Father, we're here today to just honor the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, this earth endures seed time and harvest. And though God, calamities may come from time to time. Uh, Lord God, you still endure the same forevermore. Your spirit, God, inside of us has quickened our mortal bodies. Given us, oh God, reason to rejoice because the blood of Jesus Christ has taken sin from us as far as east is from the west. The spirit of God now lives inside of us. We're called the sons and daughters of God because of the precious blood of the lamb. We give you thanks and praise this day. You're moving by your spirit across the nations. You're drawing God, men and women unto yourself. The harvest is being reaped, O God, among the nations as well. And Father, you are raising up workers and laborers for the harvest field of God is ripe. Lord, touch our sons, our daughters, our brothers and sisters, neighbors, O God, loved ones who don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Draw them, O God, by your spirit. Help us, God, have a mandate to evangelize, to spread the good news that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Amen. And all those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. In this hour, in this season, we praise and thank you for these things in Jesus' name. Praise God, we have our um, servers come to the front. This is the first Sunday of the month, Communion Sunday, August, October the 1st. And uh, you folks that are on the front rows as well can start to come to the front when the servers are here. And just take those uh, cups that contain juice and uh, bread as well. And those that are watching online, welcome. Uh, I am Mike Johnson. You'll see my wife Cheryl in a moment. We are Tree of Life Church. And uh, if you're at home, uh, please feel free to join us in communion. Just find some bread, crackers, something there you can take and partake of for the juice as well. And once you receive your um, cup here, just go back to your seat. We'll take us all together here in a moment. Before we take and serve communion here or, or partake of this elements, I was just praying us out about where to go to for the scriptures. And John chapter 6, verse 35 is where Jesus says, I tell you the truth, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven, but my father did. And now he offers you this bread from heaven. The true bread of God is the one who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. As I was thinking about this scriptures here, he talks about how, you know, God did not just send his son Christ to give us eternal life only though praise God we have that but also he's come to give us the Bible says life more abundant because Jesus Christ was poor we can be rich because he was rejected we can be received and accepted because he was wounded we can be healed because he received stripes on his back disease can be broken because he bore our iniquities of our bloodline from our grandparents on down we can now be free of every bloodline curse that passes through into our soul from our fathers, mothers, grandparents. Those curses can be broken. And praise God, because of the blood and the body of Jesus Christ, we now are people that are going to receive a transformed body in the life to come. A glorified body. The Bible says this body we have right now is only called a tent. This tent is temporary. I mean, most no tents wear out very fast. And our tents may last 75, 85, 95 years. We give thanks and praise for Charity from Nigeria here. Her mother just passed away last week, 102 years old. Her mother, they'll be leaving in a few days for that memorial and that service there in Nigeria. So we'll be praying for the, that family whose last name is very difficult for me to pronounce. But it's something like Oliawafi Manami. Close to that. We'll be praying for you folks. Praise God, we said goodbye to Fred last week. <clears throat> Precious man of God who is um, in right now rejoicing around the throne room of heaven, playing his tambourine there, and giving praise and thanks to God forevermore in his glorified body as well. And I don't know, I'm not really sure what people in heaven are doing. Some folks think they see us all the time, but I don't know that that's what they want to do, is look down upon this earth all the time and see us in our, in our fallen state, even though know, who knows what God's got them doing. I do know that God's got everything better for us because everything God touches God and God transforms is always better than it was before. Amen. 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 So now you all have your cup. Let's take this bread. Hold this bread in our hand because it represents the body of Jesus. And praise God that 
The one who knew no sin, the Bible says, became sin for us. We might become the righteousness of God through him. What that word righteous means, it means you're now in right standing with God. You're now a citizen of heaven. You've got a divine passport and a visa to go to heaven. Most of you go to a foreign country, you don't have a visa, you can't enter that nation. God's given you a divine visa by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the body of Christ, broken for us. So, Father, we give thanks and praise as we hold this bread today to you, God, uh, for the stripes on the back of your son. And by those stripes, every cancer, every pneumonia, every bone disease, every blood disease, any sickness or disease named by man has already been paid for by the body and by the stripes of Jesus Christ. Lord, your word says that healing is the children's bread. Let us, oh God, partake of this bread together today and say, thank you, God, my body is whole, my body is healed, my body is sound, and no sickness, no disease, no virus dwells in this body. In the name of Jesus. Let's take this bread together, giving thanks to him. Now, Lord God, we know in the natural realm upon this earth, we do anything for our sons and daughters, take a bullet for them, lay our lives down for them, sacrifice for them, work overtime for them. Because there are sons and there are daughters, there are blood kin. But, oh God, we are also now your blood kin. We're your sons and daughters. You love us even more than we love them. Because your love has infinite abilities and infinite scope and depth. We can't even comprehend how great, how high, how wide, how deep is the love of God because we're only human. But, oh God, we just say, let our love increase. Let our love expand, oh God. Baptize us afresh in the love of God, one for another. And for those that are lost and dying and perishing, let us remember this blood is to, is to be disclosed no longer. It's to speak, oh God, today of the salvation that comes by the precious blood Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord, that death, hell, and the grave are broken and conquered yes. by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. And our names are written in the Lamb's Amen. book of life Jesus. because of the blood Jesus. applied to the doorpost of our hearts because we confess Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. <clears throat> Father, we give thanks and praise and take this cup together. Thank you for the blood. Great job. You can pass those um, down or those in your seats. We can one or two and the will go together on the can together. we get the rest of the end. We're going to have you stand one more time to stand up. We're going to have our children be dismissed. Go upstairs. The treehouse kids. The youth are singing in the service once a month. They stay here and partake of the entire service. We're going to sing one more song of praise and glory.
Father, it is your name that is above every name. Father, it is your name that is all powerful. It is your name that is the one that has created the heavens and the earth. It is your name, Father, that rose from the dead. Father, that you came to give us life and life more abundant. And we thank you for that, Jesus. We thank you for the precious, precious name of the Lamb of God. The one who comes and rules and comes and sets people free, Father, and heals our bodies. And, oh, Lord, it's just amazing, Father, that, Father, that you are the all-consuming fire. Father, that lives and moves and has your way and your being within us. Father, and around us, and we thank you that when we call upon your name, Father, that we are saved, that we are set free, that we are healed, Father, that you come and you show us great and mighty things, and we thank you for that today. We thank you that you have relationship with us. Father, that you're not religion, but Father, you are relationship, and we thank you for that today, Father. We thank you for your faithfulness. Father, we thank you for your mercy and your grace. And we give you honor and praise this morning. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. God's good, isn't he? He's a good God that we can call amen. upon his name and be saved. And that in his name there is power. Amen? Is there power in the name of Jesus? Amen. You know, when we get saved, we don't, we don't just get saved. We get transformed, number one. And then we receive the power, the dunamis power of the Holy Ghost that lives inside of us. Amen? And that we're given the task and the privilege of being able to display the name of Jesus through all his power and display his authority and all the great and mighty things that he does on our behalf. Amen. Aren't you glad that you know Jesus? Yes. Amen. And that we can trust him. In Philippians, it's very familiar. We all know it. Philippians 4, 6, it says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all that he has done. Amen. Then you will experience Experience God's peace, which exceeds anything that we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Don't you love that scripture? I do. Um, and I just, you know, you know, when some of us are going through stresses and things in our lives, or fear, or change, and we 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 are have to be reminded that we just need to pray. You know, one of the things everybody says and comes to you and they say, well, just pray about it. And you're like, oh, okay. I didn't know I could do that, right? You know, oh, just pray about it. It's, it, it, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just pray. And it's like, okay, I, got, I know that. Sure. But it doesn't actually fix anything. Even though they're trying to encourage you and exhort Amen. you. Amen. Like I've just said, don't worry about anything, but pray. Um, you know, the thing that this is telling you is that you need to meditate him and pray and thank him for all that he's done. And when you go to God and you tell him what you need and you trust him, he knows exactly what you need and he knows what you're trusting him for. Amen. Sometimes.